In today's tutorial, I will show you how to set up a super base edge function. This is what the final result would look like once you have everything set up. You will be able to make an API call to your edge function and receive a response, just like you see here. To start this process, go to your code editor and just open up a terminal. In this example, I'll be using Visual Studio Code and using the integrated terminal. The first step is install Superbase, and you can do that by typing this command here. If you don't have Brew already installed, go ahead and install Brew. And once you have that installed, just type this command and hit enter. Once that's done, we can go to the Superbase website and sign in to our account or sign up for one if we haven't already. Once you're signed in, you should see a page similar to this. Then click on new project and new organization, name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to do test. Then for your project name, just name it whatever you'd like. I'll just do edge function tutorial. And then for the database password, just make sure it's a strong password. And then for the pricing plan, just make sure it says free and then click on create new project. Then you will see that your project is currently being set up. I'll resume the video once this is done. Now this is what you should see once your project is successfully set up. Then we can just go to the left hand side and click on the tab that says edge function. So we can just copy the first command here that will allow us to create an edge function. Then we can switch back to our terminal and just paste the command that we just copied. I'm just going to add like another number because I created a project before this is the same name. But you can see now that I've created a new function. Then we can switch back to documentation and copy this second command here, which will deploy our function. Then we go back to terminal and just paste it and hit enter. And you should now see that's being deployed. You can now see that was successfully deployed. And if we click on this link here, we should now see more properties of our project. Here you can see like the function name, the status of the edge function, as well as like when it was created and updated. If you look on the right hand side under the section that says invoke your function, we can actually just copy this curl command. Then we can open up an API client. In this example, I'll be using Postman, which is a free application that you can just download. Then once you have it downloaded, we can import the curl command that we just copied by going to file and then import and then clicking on raw text and pasting it here and hitting continue and then import. And then there's just one last change we need to make in the body section, which is a copy of what you see here and then changes to raw and then changes to JSON and paste it here. Now we can hit the send button. And if everything worked correctly, you should now see this message saying hello functions with a status code of 200. And that's how you can make an API call to your edge function. However, if you want to test your edge function locally before deploying it, we can also do that. The only requirement is you must install Docker. So if you haven't installed Docker before, you can just go to the Docker website and easily install it. Once you have it installed, just make sure it's running and then we can switch back to our terminal. Then you can type in superbase init and hit enter and your project should be initialized. I got this message because I already initialized my project. Then we can type in superbase start, the startup superbase locally. And mine's already running, but yours should be starting now. Now we can open the file where the code lives for our edge function. And you should see all this code here. At the bottom, we can just copy this curl command to import into Postman. So I'll just copy it here, switch back to Postman and do the same steps like I did before, where I just import this curl and hit continue and import. Then we can just hit send and you should now see the same message that we saw before with the 200 okay, as well as the message saying, hey functions. And that's the end of this Superbase Edge Function tutorial. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to set up your own edge functions now. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.